We've lived in East Gloucester for 46 years, and really it's kind of hard to leave. And we especially love the accessibility of um, the beaches and Rocky Neck, and there are a lot of really good restaurants uh, close by. It's great for walking and biking and boating, and there are playgrounds, uh, two playgrounds. So it's been a great place to raise children. 41 years ago, we moved to 11 Highland Street, and it was just a move around the block. After um, dinner sometimes, you can walk just half a block and you'll be in the inner harbor, seeing the sunset, uh, watching the fireworks displays that they have in Gloucester, and being able to walk uh, around the back shore or over to Rocky Neck and uh, have some of the best restaurants that they have in Gloucester. The accessibility to downtown is uh, really easy and uh, it's such a beautiful town that we have here and uh, really a, a unlike any other place we've ever lived. Uh, many families have lived in this house. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how many, uh, but one thing that interested me was that uh, some of the rooms have been rented to artists over the years because there would be uh, workshops around Rocky Neck and uh, down on Pirates Lane. Um, it's a very uh, inspiring art community. There are many creative people here in Gloucester, and especially East Gloucester. There's a writer's center just around the corner. Uh, there's the Rocky Neck Cultural Center, the North Shore Art Association, and there are a lot of galleries on Rocky Neck. One of the best things that I like too about uh, being here in, uh, in this neighborhood too is that the accessibility of uh, running your bicycle around the back shore over to Rockport. Um, beautiful scenery, uh, people like to run, kayak, uh, any kind of uh, water sports activities, um, especially sailing, stand-up paddle boarding. Uh, it's all here in Gloucester and we're uh, very fortunate to have access uh, to the Inner Harbor. Since we've been living in this house, we've enjoyed creating outdoor spaces. Uh, we've had professional help with our gardens and the patio. When we moved into this house in 1977, we uh, understand it was 100 years old at that time. So this has had quite a history. Uh, we've seen some of the old maps of Gloucester and, and noticed that our house was uh, located on those maps and it's just fun to see how our neighborhood has grown uh, over the years. Uh, the house has lots of room for projects, uh, which we've enjoyed. Uh, one of the rooms on the third floor was a um, photography, a dark room and a photography office for Mike. And I've created an art studio on the second floor. So there's excellent light and uh, also views of the harbor from the second and third floor. Uh, also on the third floor, there are cedar lined drawers, uh, which is great for storage of uh, winter clothes. The garage has ample room for kayaks and uh, we've really appreciated uh, having off street parking, especially when there are snowstorms and everyone has to move their cars off the streets. Um, We've also enjoyed cool breezes in the summer. Our bedroom happened to have uh, windows on three sides, so there was always a, a, a nice breeze and very comfortable, uh, even on hot days. We've always uh, looked at living in this house as just being stewards for the time that we live here because we know it has a, a wonderful past and we hope that the people that do come to buy this house and enjoy it and love it as much as we have and continue uh, creating this uh, beautiful environment that uh, is 11 Highland Street. Mm -hmm.